Hi friends, it's time to make wind chimes and pinwheels with Miss Erin, root beer and sassafras. First, we're gonna make a wind chime. There are some items that you will need. Some materials. You'll need a coat hanger, plastic or a metal one. You'll need scissors, you'll need string, yarn, twine or fishing line. And you'll need metal items, could be tools or kitchen items. Look around your house and see what you can find and make sure you ask your grown up if you can use them. Then you will tie them on to the coat hanger. You might need a grown up's help with the tying. I like to tape them on too. See the duct tape at the top of mine? So my strings don't slide. I like to play with the length of strings and the sounds that the different items make as they bump against each other. You can also try to make a wind chime using natural items like sticks and pine cones. You can also add a decorative touch by adding some beads or feathers to make your wind chimes look pretty as well as sound pretty in the wind. Root beer, you like it? Does it make a pretty noise? Hmm? Do you like it? Now I'm going to show you how to make your own pinwheel. And then you can keep making them and making them as many as you'd like. You will need a glue stick, a pencil or tree stick, paper, scissors, and a thumbtack or a small nail. You may also want to grab some crayons or markers if you want to decorate your pinwheel. If you want to color your pinwheel or decorate it, make sure you color the piece of paper first before we start folding and cutting it. Go. All right, friends, so I'm gonna show you how to make a pinwheel. First, you need a piece of paper, it can be any color. <laughs> Um, and it can even be white. And you can see my paper is what shape? The rectangle. And I need to make it into a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it so that it looks like this. You might want your grown-up to help you. It helps me make a square. I'm going to make a line. That'll help me know where to cut. Whoops. Excuse me, sassafras, I need my scissors. All right, and remember, you need your grown-up to help you with the scissors. Now remember that, sassafras. So I'm gonna cut this piece away because I need a square. So let's see if I open this up, if I have a square, I do. So now what I'm gonna do is I have it folded this way. I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to fold it this way. So that when I open it, you can see that I have a line here and lines here. And now if you want to color it, this is the time to color. Let's see. I have my crayon. Uh-oh. Root beer, you going away with my supplies. Bring my supplies back here, I'll help you. All right, you gonna help me color? After I'm finished coloring, I will need to make some cuts. So I need some scissors. All right, so I am <laughs> cutting on all four corners, halfway to the center. See how this is? And then what I'm going to do is find my glue stick. Let's see. Aha! I have one. And then I'm going to put a dot of glue in the middle. Are you okay? I'm going to put a dot of glue in the middle like that. I'm going to bend one corner down. I'm going to put another. 
another dot of glue on top. I'm just going to bend another corner down. And I don't want to bend this corner down. I want to bend the one farther away from it. And I'm going to put glue on each one. And here's another. So then it would be this one. I'm going to hold it there. Hold it there till it dries. So maybe I would count to 20. One, you're gonna help me count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And thank you, Root Beer, for giving me this stick because this is the next part. Okay. All right, so my glue is dry. And I'm getting a small circle. You can see I cut a lot from the piece of paper that blew over there. All right, friends. So once you have held down in the corners of your pinwheel in the center so the glue will dry for 20 seconds. You'll get a grown up to help you. I like to put a dot in the center of my a green circle. Then the grown up will take a thumb. Oops, can you see? The grown up will take a thumbtack or a small nail, they're gonna poke a hole right through the green circle. And then they're poke a hole right through the center of my pinwheel. And then you could choose to put your pinwheel on a stick that you find outside, like that. There we go. Or, you have a pencil like this one with an eraser you can have your grown-up poke the nail or the thumbtack into the eraser and then you can make a pinwheel that way so I make sure that you don't push the thumbtack all the way in your pinwheel will need some room to spin all right friends so I hope you have fun making lots of pinwheels with your family and making wind chimes as well. So I'm going to clean up now. My helpers, my goat helpers, Sassafras and Root Beer have made a lot of mess. Stay tuned for some bloopers and some funny videos. Here are some funny videos of the goats of Sassafras and Root Beer. My favorite is when Sassafras has a pinwheel encounter. First, he's scared of it, but then he conquers it, and munches on it, yum, yum, yum. Sassafras is not afraid or scared of that pinwheel anymore. Oh, Sassafras, you ate the orange kite. Oh my goodness, silly goat. Hi, Sassafras and I have a song for you. This is how it goes. I like kites. I like kites. They fly high. They fly high. They keep on spinning round and round. Sometimes they even touch the ground. They fly through the air without a sound. Oh, I like kites. I like kites. Do you like kites? Oh, you wear me out, root beer and sassafras. 
Aw, thank you for the kisses. Root beer? Root beer? Did you fall asleep during story time? Root beer? Are you dreaming? Your eyes are fluttering. Root beer? I think Root beer fell asleep during story time. Hey friends, I think Root Beer is having a dream. I wonder what he's dreaming about. What do you think? Goodbye, Sassafras. Good night, Root Beer.